Hello, we are back with How to Make a Sun Hat, Part 2, from Dorcas Fashion Academy. Now that your hat is sewn, we need to put it together. But first of all, we want to do a top stitch to flatten the seams. Making sure that you push the top seam allowance down, you top stitch on the right side of your hat, pushing the seam allowance down and going over all the fabrics together. This makes sure that the seam is flat and the seam allowance is all one way. We shall be doing the same top stitch on the lower seam, but this time you're going to make sure that your seam allowance is pushed upwards. This one might seem easier, but still you have to make sure that the fabric is taut away from each other so that you don't get any pleats or pinches on this top stitch. You will repeat all of this on the other side of the hat. Watch out for those double seams. You need to be careful and go over them slowly so that you don't break a needle. It is important to have a heavy duty needle, a denim one or a 110. That would be good for this project. Now we are ready to put our hat together. Take one hat on the right side and one on the wrong side and insert one into the other, right sides together. Opening up your seams, place one seam on top of the other and pin. Match up your notches and pin all the way around the brim. Once it is pinned, sew all the way around at the width of the presser foot. Remove the pins, neaten the insides and turn the right way round through the little gap that we left previously. Do not worry if you find it a little bit difficult. It is a little bit of a struggle. Obviously, you could always leave the gap larger. But I prefer to have the gap only in the crown, <clears throat> so I don't have to sew a lot by hand later. Push one inside the other and start pinning the brim. Wriggle the edge so that you get the seam towards the edge of the fabric. We don't want any folded seam inwards. Pin all the way around making sure that the seam is right at the edge.
Once you have finished pinning, sew a top stitch at the width of the presser foot all around the brim to neaten and flatten all the edge. If you align the right side of the presser foot with the edge of the fabric, you will see that your top stitch will be equal all the way around. It is important that you do not go over the head of the pins because it will get stuck underneath the presser foot. Watch your step whilst going over the double thickness of the double stitching. Sometimes you can do it manually, slowly, to go over this bump. Your hat is now nearly ready and all you need to do is to close up the little gap that we left earlier. I will teach you how to hand stitch this in place. Taking a needle with double thread and a knot at the end, insert the needle from below into the seam. This way the knot will stay inside. On each of the sides that are folded, you will take one side and insert the needle right on the fold. And when it comes out exactly where it's out on the opposite side, you will again insert the needle. Where it comes out, you will go to the other side. So what you're doing is kind of a diagonal zigzag. An Aztec pattern really. Out, in, where it comes out, you go opposite, go on to the other side, and this way it's a bit like a running stitch that you're doing, but on the right side of the fabric. When you pull the thread, the two sides will join making it a neat seam. Continue up until the end and secure with a knot. This is now your hat ready. We are going to fold over a flap upwards and later we are going to add a flower. We shall do another video for the flower. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you'd like to purchase our patterns please click on the link below. Thank you.